So uh, Samsung is releasing Super AMOLED Plus now. That is correct. It's uh, Samsung's next generation of display technology. Yeah. And we, uh, we have two devices that we announced at the show. We have two devices that we announced at the show. This is one of them. This is the Samsung 4G LTE uh, smartphone on Verizon. And then we also announced the Samsung Infuse 4G with AT&T. And both of them have uh, the Super AMOLED Plus display. What's uh, different about this display uh, compared to AMOLED displays is that it has 50% more subfixes. And what that does, it translates to, is that when you go outdoors, you're going to have better outdoor readability. Your images are going to be sharper, and your images are also going to be clearer. Just like the Super AMOLED display, though, it's going to have great color saturation and good color reproduction. Yeah. And uh, it's it's going to also sort of smooth out the lines and your type will look better as well. It's got sure type technology. All right. And uh, it allows, is, is it allowing for larger screens? It's not unrelated to that, right? That's right. So the Super AMOLED Plus display is actually larger than our Super AMOLED display. So we've got the yeah. one here on the smartphone for Verizon is a 4.3 inch display. Yeah. The one coming out for AT&T is actually going to be the largest on the AT&T's network at 4.5 inches. Uh, you don't need the new factory to do all this, but Samsung is building one, right, for June or something. There's going to be a bigger factory. Yeah, I don't, I don't have any comment about yeah. the factories or what specifically they'll be producing. So how soon is this on the market? Um, for We don't have any availability on yeah. the Super AMOLED display, yeah. but uh, for, for the Verizon product, but we have announced that the AT&T Infuse 4G will be available in Q2 of this year. Q2. Yes. All right, and uh, no availability for Europe or any other markets, right? That's correct. Okay. That's correct. All right, and uh, this is what you were talking about, better uh, reading. Right. Compared to the AMOLED versus the Super AMOLED yeah. Plus, you're going to have 50% more subpixels, it goes from 8 to 12, and uh, you'll, you'll see that the type is going to appear clearer. And it's uh, reduced uh, depth by 14%, yep, compared to AMOLED displays, it reduces the depth so that the image is going to be closer to the, to the screen. And it's real black, so that changes as well, the lower power? That's right. When you're, when you're looking on the phone screen, and say, for example, you are in the applications menu, when you see the black, what right. that means is that that's not actually um, that's actually the screen. There's no power being used to create that color. None at all. But it was already like that with Superman. That, that's correct. But it's maybe improved. But it's 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 the same technology in that. Respect. Right.